This is Aaron with Anet Computers from AnetComputers.com with another potential fix for a common computer problem you might be receiving. This deals with PCI controllers. I filed it under operating system problems. PCI controllers, how to quickly fix missing PCI device drivers. Cannot connect to the internet because you are missing your Windows PCI bridge controller? That's a question. You can go into Control Panel and then Device Manager, right click on that PCI Bridge Controller and delete it. Click on a Refresh Hardware List icon in Device Manager, Windows will find that PCI Bridge again. You might be asked for installation media. So this basically instructions for Windows XP but certainly can be useful for Windows Vista 7, Windows 8 is you just go into device manager you right click that PCI bridge controller it might already have a yellow exclamation point or an error code you just delete it then on a taskbar a toolbar in device manager you will notice a little icon a computer icon with like a glass and then an eyeglass you just click on that and that will scan for hardware changes. And then you might be asked for installation media. If you have a restore CD or a Windows XP CD, place that into your CD-ROM drive before you reinstall that PCI bridge. It should copy that needed driver off that CD. Another option is to perform a system restore back to before this issue occurred. Windows XP Vista 7, 8, you'll, you might need your installation CD or a restore CD. Or another option is if you have Windows updates enabled, once you remove that device and then you click on scan for hardware changes or refresh hardware list icon, it might go out over the internet and try to find PCI controller drivers off of Microsoft's website, but it may or may not. It might ask you for installation media instead because that means that those drivers for that PCI controller were installed off of either Windows XP or a Restore CD. You could also perform a system restore. So and then what you want to do is select a date before you had this problem. You, your computer was working fine. You were able to access the internet just fine. All of a sudden, you have some snafu. Your internet connection no longer works. You go into Device Manager. Perhaps even your e you, you might be having a problem with your Ethernet device or your PCI controller. You see a yellow exclamation point with an error code. Well, you could skip these previous steps if you want. If you are more familiar with fixing your own computer problems, you could all, whatever, it's your free choice. You can always just go to perform a system restore. But system restores don't always fix issues. And then also, they can take quite a while. But you could, you could do that. You could go into control panel, then select system, and then choose restore. This following fix works on a eMachines T6426 running Windows XP. So this fix actually worked on a live machine, an eMachine T6426, and their operating system they were using was Windows XP. But I think these are easy enough instructions that you could use these for Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. And hopefully one of these tips or one of these instructions solves your problem where your PCI bridge controller driver in Windows became corrupt or whatever whatever reason perhaps when you, Windows updates ran and then that PCI bridge driver was corrupted when a newer driver was downloaded sometimes that happens with Windows updates anyways you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.